imagine there's no hunger I wonder if you can Lord, Lord Nothing to kill or die for A brotherhood a man, Lord Imagine all the people living for today, Lord. Baby, you may say, I'm a dreamer, Lord, Lord. Mm. But I'm not the only one, the one, the one. Bonjour, bitch. No, <laughs> How are you guys doing? Welcome to Let's Talk About. Ooh, I'm here, so. Relax. Y'all, I might be a little jittery because this is my second cup of coffee. I, I'm a tea drinker and I do honey. I don't do a lot of sugar. But when I like, when I want a cup of coffee, when I want that extra boost, coffee be giving me energy. Like, I, get, I be getting crackhead energy with this. Oh, uh, why am I drinking coffee right now? I have a lot of stuff to do in tomorrow's video. I'm actually really, really excited for it. It's uh, one that I've been wanting to talk about for a minute, and it's like kind of putting myself out there a bit, but I know it's gonna help a lot of people. So stay tuned for that. But today, today's gonna be why we need to support small businesses, why we need to support artists, why we need to support barbers, restaurant owners, nail technicians, anything you possibly think of. We must support y'all. Little do we know that these small businesses do a lot to our big economy that we have. So a lot of the times these businesses, when people start them, you know, they usually end up failing, not all the time, but sometimes they fail because a lot of people don't know about them. Why? Because there's other big companies such as Walmart, Target, so on and so forth that you can get almost like a one-stop shop type thing. What was that accent? Almost like a one-stop shop type thing. So a lot of people don't go to their local markets. They don't go to little vendors. They don't go to little small boutiques, you know? Definitely go check out little small boutiques. Go check out clothing stores, different markets, different booths. Uh, and nowadays we live in a different era. Like I always say, you could always check social medias. You know, there's so many people that, you know, make their own honey, their own chapstick. They make their own shirts. They start their own charities. You know, do your research. Put yourself out there and splurge a little bit on my barbers and on my haircut. Why? Because you can't do it yourself, okay? If you cannot do it yourself, you should really take care of those people. Just like when you guys go out to eat at a restaurant, if you can't make that shrimp alfredo, if you can't make that rice and beans, if you can't make that lasagna, you know, definitely take care of your server. Tip a little extra, especially right now. You know, we are at a time that it, it's tough for these business owners, for franchise owners, for people who, you know, just bought the company, put their money into it, and now a lot of people aren't going to said Subway or McDonald's. I went to Michael because guilty, it's, that's not important. I was at Michael's and I walked in and I remember like seeing this lady with this table, picture of her here, and I was like, hmm, that looks interesting. In 2010, 11 year old Ty Smalley took his own life due to bullying, you know? The, uh, I hate bullies. I hate people who think that they have the right to belittle someone, to make someone feel so small. You know, I'm a firm believer that you should share your opinion. I'm not a biased person. You know, I would have a cup of coffee with a Trump supporter just to see where they're coming from and just to hear them out, you know what I mean? But for someone to be so disgusting and negative with it, and especially at a young age, at a young age you know what I mean? Like these schools, these kids are ruthless. So cool thing about it, y'all, if you guys ever donate to anything, um, make sure you guys get a receipt for it because you can write it off on your taxes. So win, win, that's amazing, more money back. But actually, let me, let me change my shirt before I tell you about another store. The difference, okay, you are somebody. God, I love it! Oh, that's my army shirt, my bad, no disrespect. So y'all, let me tell you something real quick. You cannot cut your own hair. If you cannot do this beauty yourself, take care of your barbers. Tip them that 20 to $30. Take care of your barbers, okay? Not only that, you take care of your barbers sometimes when you come back, 
they'll also like they'll lower the price a bit because you know they know you're gonna take care of them so it's like a win-win you save some money i'm not gonna ramble into that and tipping and all that stuff if you can't do it yourself you gotta take care of them that's it period um or period <laughs> period Anyways. into it just get into it get into this get into this Get into, get into this! What? What? Get into it! If you guys live in the Orlando Celebration Central Florida area, hit my boy up, hit him up. He is amazing, he will go to you. He is the shit. So my kids out there that are listening or watching, but he is the shit, like he's amazing. Like, the detail that he puts into it, He's super fun, you know? You guys are just gonna check it out in the video ahead. But I kinda wanted this Let's Talk About It to be a bit light, you know what I mean? Actually chill um, and relax. And I hope you guys are having a great day. If you guys wanna chat a bit down in the comments, I'm just gonna be doing research all day. And I actually just bought the new Vogue with Simone Biles, look at that. If you guys want to see how Mr. Carlos got this done, again, support small businesses, support barbers, support all of these amazing people. You never, ever know if they're gonna take care of you, vice versa, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, so, buh, 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 bye. Oh, I decided to do that little acapella thing in the beginning for Queen Krista, how are you? We go to the Rock Church together on West Ursula Bronson Memorial Highway. If you guys are ever going through a rough time, definitely check it out. Um, but shout out to you. That was for you, baby. Love you. You gotta say hi to the London fam. Well, after y'all. <laughs> y'all, this is Carlos. He's a shit. Hall of Fame barbershop. You guys are always asking about my hair. He's the guy behind it. All the way. Y'all, Carlos is where it's at, y'all. You guys have been asking, and thou shalt receive. Look at that. Hall of Fame Barbershop.
always check the description like i always tell you guys i'm gonna have all his information down below for y'all oh.